What's going on guys? It's Professor Gnome and we're going to be looking at some Raging Bolt EX today and the Bellowing Thunder attack. The easiest way that we're going to be able to utilize this is by utilizing Sandy Shock's EX and its uh, Magnetic Absorption ability and also using that with Professor uh, Sato's Vitality. There's other builds that you can do um, that are based on the what the hell is that thing called gerlac salt the salt thing um and that's very very similar but not as good uh the benefit is that it's a one prizer rather than a two prizer so if it gets like bossed or something like that it's not as detrimental but uh don't play that just play this it's better um outside of that we're also playing energy switches in order to move our energy around make it a little bit more accessible um, we are playing the Seal Stone because we play the Luminion V in order to utilize the Seal Stone and get the, um, the Vitalities to our hand when we need them. We run a Collapse Stadium in order to get rid of those, um, the, the Squawk Ability if we need to use it or the Luminion if we need to use it. We also have Radiant Greninja in order to dump cards into the discard pile to get other things online faster. We also run a bunch of switch uh, switch cards just because it's pretty important um, in order to utilize getting all of our energy in play and like in power and moving things around. We don't want stuff trapped into the active, uh, especially you know against stall and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the list, guys. Definitely let me know what you think of the list um, or any changes that you would make. I feel like this is kind of the best way to run it. This is very similar to a lot of other lists that are out there. Um, mine's not incredibly unique. I, th I think that this is kind of the optimal way to play it. You could definitely cut down on some gear if you wanted uh, to run something else, but this is pretty much the way to play it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the list or any changes that you guys would make. Definitely let me know what you're going to see next on the channel, uh, what other decks and cards you want to see featured. Um, make sure to just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. Uh, and yeah, I, I got a quick, quick question, weird, uh, weird sentence there. Um, but I was thinking about this. A lot of times we talk about like what our favorite decks are and all that kind of stuff. What's your least favorite deck in the format right now? I feel like everyone's going to say Snorlax stall and that's mine as well. That's just, it's so boring to play against. Even when I win, I'm just like, ugh, going to be here for like 25 minutes and it's pretty lame. But I like that stalls in the format. Like I like that there's a good stall deck. I just wish it wasn't so good. Uh, but yeah, definitely let me know what deck you kind of dislike playing against. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in game one in a moment. See you guys there. Peace. All right, we're into game one. Our opponent won the coin flip and it's chosen for us to go first. Uh, we open a bit of an interesting hand here, but not anything that we can't really utilize. We'll see. There's a Raging Bolt. Hmm. I think in this situation, because we already have two Pokegear in hand, we're going to take the Greninja. I think that's the better play. We'll go Raging Bolt down. We will get rid of one Pokegear. Grab ourselves this and this. Then what we can do is fleet footed. Then we can concealed cards. Get rid of the fighting energy. Perfect. Get ourselves two. Place down the electric energy and pass our turn. Then what we can do on our next turn is vitality. Move the fighting energy over to the raging bolt. Um, and then energy switch that over if we don't draw into an energy um, and start attacking putting some pressure down with the Raikou uh, while we look for other options to get ourselves set up we'll see what they end up going into it is ancient box with the Dunsparce um, great card I like the Dunsparce a lot um, definitely going to utilize it more in some other uh, games in the future. Uh, I'm thinking about, I think it's really, really good in, uh, 
Tinkerton. And it's also very good with uh, Goldango. Both of those decks really, really benefit from it. I, don't know, I definitely want to do updated uh, deck lists on those in the future. There's the energy capsule. Uh, don't really need the super rod. I don't think Artisan does anything for us at the moment. We can fleet. Got ourselves another Poke Gear. We'll spin it and see what we get. All right, one Vitality. That's fine for us. We'll go ahead and just use that for now. See what we get. Nest Ball, that works out for us. We can grab ourselves one Sandy. And then, let's see. We can bump that get ourselves a spin here not terrible what we actually can do here and this might be worth it is we can go ahead and energy swap here put that down and then what we can do is we can prime catcher and the question is do we want to prime catcher the dedun sparse or do we want to prime catcher the uh, the Greninja? And I think we want to do the Dunsparce, or sorry, Greninja. Um, and so we can go ahead, attack here, get rid of both energies, knock out the Greninja. So the reason for that is that. The Dunsparce is like going to draw them more cards, but we can't get oh that's cool. We can't guarantee that they have it in hand. At least at the moment. Um They probably do, but we can't guarantee that. But we can prevent them from getting more energies in the discard pile um more easily with Radiant Greninja off the board. And so with that out of the way, like uh, things like their vitality isn't really effective right now. Uh, things like being able to dark patch is not as effective at the moment. So, like, even if they manually attach here, they don't have the option to really do anything else. Like, that dark patch they just found doesn't do anything for them. Um, is where they'd have to... Um... They'd have to find a way to get back into another energy in the discard, and like right now they just don't have it. Unfortunately for us, we don't have a way to knock this thing out yet. There's Sandy Shocks. We could Vitality. Or we could place Luminion down, grab ourselves um, something else. But for now, I think we're going to keep the space open and go ahead and Vitality. Go one and one. Hmm. I think we'll grab ourselves one more. Uh, actually, we can leave it. We're really hoping to be able to get into like at least one energy, but I don't think we're going to be able to, and it's kind of unfortunate that way, but it is what it is. Oh, perfect. Let's go. All right. So we can earth and vessel away this. Grab ourselves one of each. We'll manually attach. We can get sealed cards. Alright. Now we're in an okay position. Unfortunately, we just don't have enough damage in order to knock this out. But what we can do is put it in a position that we aren't worried about them going for... Um... Whoa, why did it look like that? 
uh, we're not in a, a position that we need to worry about uh, gouging frenzy or frenzy gouging rather, um, since it'll knock itself out if they choose to do that. There's the Dunsparce sparse again. We have double switch cart in hand, so even if this does get knocked out this turn, uh, we're still in a fine position. Not the biggest deal in the world. We could just put Raikou in the active, fleet-footed a card for ourselves, put Raging Bolt back down, uh, you know, switch cart, vitality, go and, you know, make our plays that way. Hmm. So they go Calamity Storm. Another switch cart. Uh, Alright, we can just go Vitality here. One and one. We can Super Rod. Put that back in. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like that for now. Then what we can do is go ahead, grab this. We'll get rid of one Ultra Ball. We don't really need it at this point. Grab ourselves. Uh, we'll do one of each. Or, I get this at this point. The Fighting Energy are fine. We can go ahead and attach. And then we have Vitality for next turn. We'll play the, uh... We'll place down the Raging Bolt for now. And then what we can do is we'll get rid of the Fighting Energy on this and the Fighting Energy that is already in hand. Hit for enough to knock this out. We still have one energy on it, which is fine. get the double energy here or get the double prize card we do get our booster energy capsule and uh the fighting energy so that's good what is nice here is because they have their uh roaring moon ex on the bench um and we'll have the opportunity to place luminion down we'll be in a position that we can actually probably like get a boss's orders play on this Yeah, we're in a pretty good position at this point. So we can place this down. We have all the switch cards available to us. There's the boss's orders. Um, we'll probably need that next turn. We can go electric energy here, fighting energy here. And then what we can do for here is manually attach. We'll go ahead and magnetic absorption. We can do the same thing here, magnetic absorption. And then how many energy is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Um, Prime Catcher here would be super nice. Unfortunately, that's just not available to us anymore. Uh, we don't need this. Another Sandy Shocks is nice. Um, we have the boss's orders already in play, so that's pretty good for us. We'll just go ahead and knock this out, um, just using the energy off the back. So one... So that's 70, bop, bop, that should be enough, 210, um, and yeah, so we're good to go here, if they, we'll take the one prize, um, so pretty much we're in a position now where if they bring in their Roaring Moon EX and go for Frenzied Gouging, then we can just place down a new Roaring Moon and go for game. 
Yeah. Um, and if they don't, then it's also fine. We would have game anyway, just being able to use the boss's orders. Um, so yeah, that's going to be game one. Pretty easy game there, going to be honest. Um, I feel like one of the, the things with Raging Bolt EX, and it's like, I like the deck, but I feel like it's pretty one-dimensional and like pretty straightforward and makes it kind of... I don't want to say boring to play, but kind of just like, all right, it's either working or it isn't. And if it's working, then you just kind of have an extremely linear play path. Um, but yeah, when it works, it works and it works really well. Um, but yeah, that's going to be game one, guys. I'll see you guys in game two. All right, we're into game number two. Our opponent is going to be going first. We won the coin flip. We decided to go second. Uh, I kind of prefer that with this deck. Um, kind of giving me the ability to actually use supporters and kind of speed up my game. Them opening Luminion is pretty nice for us. We'll see what they're able to go into and what they're playing. We'll see based off the nest ball. It'll give us an idea of like what they're working with. They open Mimikyu immediately. Not something that we love to see. We'll have to wait to see what else they're able to do. Mimikyu is so lame. Um, Alright. So, let's see what we end up getting. There's a Prime Catcher. That's okay for us. We can Fleet-Footed. So there is a Vitality in play. So let's see, what could we do? All right, so we can go ahead and grab our wings, right? Then what we can do is Ultra Ball away this and the Switch Cart. Grabbing ourselves a Squawkabilly. Then what we can do is place that down. We'll poke a stop here. That's fine by us. We can go ahead and Prime Catcher. Pull this up. Put wings into the active. Vitality for three. Place this down. Place this. Heavy ball just to see what our prizes are. Alright, so our seal stone and our boss are in use. Then what we can do is we can squawk here for a whole new hand. Nice. Tracking shoe. We'll take the next tracking shoe. We'll take the next trekking shoe. Uh, we will take the nest ball. That way we can nest ball out a raging bolt. We could go Greninja to discard and keep drawing, but I think this is fine for now. Um, and we just want to make sure we get rid of this Mimikyu as fast as possible because it can be really annoying. And we don't want to give them the opportunity to be able to stall us. Right now, it seems like their hand's pretty dead. They accomplished nothing um, on their last turn. So we really don't want to give them the opportunity to put Mimikyu in and just continue to stall us until they get, like, cards to work with. Though it seems like they just... Um, they may have stuff, that, like, now that they have the Arvin, but we'll have to wait and see. Because we still don't totally know what they're playing. But we'll see. So there's the... Hmm... A Poffin and a Rigid Band. That's interesting. Okay, so it's Goldango. So we do have the Switch card available. Double energy on uh, Silver, uh, the Slitherwing. So let's see. What do we want to do? 
Magnetic absorption isn't an option. That was a pretty nice spin for us. I mean, they can always just search these back out, but getting the double colorless in the discard is nice. Hmm. We can nest ball out Greninja in order to discard and continue to draw, look for a vitality, and go from there. I think that's probably going to be the play we have to make. The problem is I don't think we have any electric energy in the discard, right? Oh, no, we have one. Perfect. Hmm. So they used everything they got from their Arvin. So it looks like they're still really stuck. Which kind of reaffirms the, like, kind of commitment to removing Mimikyu off the board. Hmm. We'll see what they do. It seems like at this point, they're just kind of running the timer. Um, either planning to concede or waiting to see if I get, like, impatient enough to kind of concede of my own accord. So we'll go Greninja here. Place that. We will concealed cards first. Uh, we'll attach... We can collapsed, but we may as well spin first. Uh, not the worst, but not the best. We'll go ahead and collapsed here just to remove Squawk from the board, kind of help get rid of those liabilities. Um, we'll manually attach the energy here, and I think that's about all we're going to really be able to do we could all right let's make the conservative slash aggressive play so we'll remove that we can go ahead and pal pad since we're about to discard this whole hand anyway we can go ahead and put this back put this back and we'll put the luminion back uh for later And then we don't really need any of this. What we can do is burst roar, discard everything, get ourselves a new hand, and now we're in business to start, you know, getting some damage down and start attacking. And we have the poke gear to help us search out the boss later. And then if they clear the uh, collapse stadium, like that's fine for us. If they leave Luminion in the active, because again, I think they're just completely stuck. Uh, there's a superior. We'll see what they discard. But I don't know what... I don't know what their goal is. There's only two energy in the discard. I think they just, like, completely dead drawed. And, like, they're, like, just completely stuck. So what we can do on our next turn is, what's the star me for? I mean, I guess. What matchup would this be good for right now? Um, what? I'm trying to think of what matchup that'd be good in. Like you could run it in, like against like, uh, like Arceus decks, but what Arceus decks are like really good to tech for right now it's not good into Charizard it's not good into any of the Roaring Moon variants I really don't know what that would be good for yeah I feel like Starmie is just not the card right now 
which sucks. I like Starmie a lot. I feel like if there like if there was like a really cool Starmie EX, that would be pretty hype. I could get behind that. I wonder what they used their V Star. Um, they used it for Toro. That's interesting. I mean, they can't knock us out. Because we already know that at least one of these cards is Luminion. So we're not in any danger of being knocked out. We can KO this back on our next turn. With just the energy in our hand, let alone from... Uh... Seda. That's annoying. Oh, they're going to call for family. What a weird series of events. Um, I mean, we're just going to look for another uh, switch cart. And, like, a boss's orders. Um, it's going to be easiest just to go ahead and discard first. There's that. We don't need both of these, so we can go ahead and get rid of that. We'll thin our deck out ever so slightly. Let's see, we do still have a boss in- oh, we don't. Alright, so I guess we're just looking for a switch card at this point. Thought we did. Alright, well, a little unfortunate. Um, I guess what we can do is we can just manually retreat then. If we don't find the switch card. But we do. So we'll go ahead and switch. Bring this in and kind of force the kind of force the end of the game. Uh, let's throw that down. Since it, once we knock this thing out, um, take one energy off of this. Uh, once we knock this thing out, they can bring Goldango in, uh, draw two cards. But uh, I guess the game's not over because they have. Luminion in hand, which can get them a new supporter, get them, you know, a new hand, and kind of get reset up with. So I guess it's not completely over. Easiest play to go for, though, for me, is even if they get all the cards in order to knock us out, they're going to need five energies to do it. Even if they do knock us out, um, we just put our Raikou V into the active, draw a card off Fleet Footed, um, we can Nest Ball our Raging Bolt back out, it will mean that our, um, it'll mean that our Sandy Shocks are online, so we can pull energies back out that way, manually attach an energy to the Raikou V, and just manually retreat it. And go from there. So the game should pretty much be over at this point. And we still have an Arvin, uh, or not Arvin, sorry, I just was looking at the card. We still have an Iono in deck in order to make sure we don't deck ourselves out on accident from all the drawing we're about, like, we can do. And if the other boss isn't in deck, that means it's in our prize cards, which I think we saw earlier with the heavy ball, and I just kind of forgot about it. Um, yeah, so they're both in there. That's crazy. Um, and, yeah, so we saw that earlier with our heavy ball, but I just kind of, like, completely forgot about it. So if that's the case, then all we need to do is find that sooner rather than later. But it looks like they're not going to be able to knock us out anyway. So they're just putting some damage down. Um, easiest play to make here 
is actually just to... Hmm. I think we can just blanket attack, right? Kind of go from there. Like, let them make their play on the next turn. Um, let's see. So, 140, 210, that should be 260, or 280 rather. And then there we go, two prizes. Hopefully we grab, really? Well, that's annoying. Um, not really a big deal though. Like I said, our play is still exactly the same. And it, again, they only have two cards to work with, three now. So this game's over. They're going to surrender on this turn. Kind of disappointing our opponent couldn't really do anything, but I don't think they made all the best choices when it came to like their Luminion activations. I also believe that for playing Goldango, you really want to be playing the Dedunsparce engine rather than the Palkia one. Um, I think the Palkia just bricks way harder, um, which we kind of saw there. I don't think they made the best choices out of their Luminion, but I also think we made the right choice with committing, um, like doing the extra commitment onto the Mimikyu to make sure that they couldn't stall us out for a couple turns to like really be able to find their pieces. We were able to just instantly keep the pressure up the whole game. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be game, I think that was what, two? I don't really remember. Um... <laughs> We'll, we'll go into the next one. I'll see you guys there. Definitely let me know any changes that you'd make to the list so far. I, I definitely like the list. Um, but definitely let me know what changes you guys would make or anything else. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next game. Peace. All right. Uh, we won the coin flip. We're having our opponent go first, much like the last game. Uh, this is not optimal. Come Move. Thank you. Um, all right. Fluttermane's so strong. Ooh, Zatu. What is, what is our, what, what? What am I trying to say? What is our opponent playing is the sentence I was trying to say. Why was that so difficult? Um, all right. I think what we have to do here is we're going to go this. We'll get rid of this and this. Grab ourselves a Raging Bolt. Then what we can do is nest ball ourselves out a Squawkabilly. We can squawk here. Cool, get ourselves some cards. Uh, we'll Trekking Shoe first. Nope. Cool. Kind of didn't really want that, but... Alright, cool. The Vitality works. Then what we can do... This little Earthen Vessel here. Get rid of that. Grab ourselves one of each. Then what we can do is... Pop that onto this, and that onto this. Cool, we got the switch cart. So now what we can do is switch cart, bring this in. Then we can energy switch, move that over. We can concealed cards, get rid of one fighting energy. Cool, and now we're set up for next turn as well. So we'll play this down and we'll go ahead and take the knockout. Bop, bop. Cool. Technically, I should have... Um, I guess the mistake there is that I should have attached it in an energy from my hand uh, manually. Just so that way it's already there. And we have more damage for next turn. And I don't have to worry about... Um, you know, whether I have an electric energy or a fighting energy or whatever. Um, but it's not too big of a deal. Ooh! Yay. So we are playing against the, the anti-meta build. The Fluttermane in that's kind of interesting. Uh, the Iron there is slightly annoying, but not that big a deal. 
Uh, we have an Iona of our own, so that's cool. Though this is a situation where, like, the mistake of not putting down the energy is going to become more of a problem. Uh, another Mimikyu to deal with. Man, that card's so not fun. Uh, okay. Well, that makes things a little easier. We can go ahead and Vitality here. Bop and bop. We can Trekking Shoe. We don't need that. Uh, there's Raikou. We don't really need that either. Um, let's see. Let's grab ourselves our Wing. And then, what do we want to do? I mean, we could have played Raikou down in order to have the Seal Stone available to us. But we don't really need that. So, for right now, we're probably just going to end up passing. Uh, we have all the Switch cards. We have a Boss's Orders in hand, which will be nice for us. That's kind of annoying. We had switch cards. Man, I swear that people don't play that card until I'm actively talking about items. Like, unless I'm actively stating, like, I have this in my hand. Nobody plays anything. But if I talk about how I have an item in hand, immediately it it becomes, becomes a, an option for everybody. Uh, Alright. We'll poke stop first. That's fine, I guess. This doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, I mean, that's nice, actually. Hmm. None of this really does anything for me right now. I feel like I just have to Iono here, unfortunately. Which, like, kind of helps them more than it helps me, but I kind of need to get something going. Um... Man, I'm about to start just running Canceling Cologne in all my decks again. Just because of how prevalent Mimikyu is right now. Um, Alright, we have the Vitality. Uh, with Double Switch Cart, I literally can't switch out. Like, normally. Uh, with all those off the board. So that's pretty annoying, actually. Alright, we're going to pass our turn. What we'll do on our next turn is unfortunately have to play the the slow grind game of stacking energies and looking for our boss again just to pull up the psychic bird thing or what we're gonna have to do um is we can earthen vessel manually attach uh onto the raging bolt Discard all the energies in order to go into our Sliverwing, knock out the Mimikyu, and then go from there. And I think that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, again, just like last game, we're just going to have to keep up that pressure. Um, letting that pressure kind of die down is not going to help us. So we'll take one of each. What we can do from here is we can attach. Then we can Vitality. Go one and one. Uh, the collapse stadium is actually kind of nice. Since it's going to get our uh, squawk out of play. And actually... Yeah, so we'll collapse here. We'll get rid of our squawk. Force them to get rid of something. Uh, the mana fee was the thing that made the most sense. We'll discard, bring this in, and then from here what we can do is attack, get rid of the Mimikyu, remove it from the board, take another prize. Cool, we're back into the saddle with Vitality. Uh, hopefully we have another Iono, because otherwise we're just going to like deck ourselves out soon. 
unfortunately we also don't have a pal pad to like put our iono back in but that just is it's the consequences we're gonna have to accept Double D evolution doesn't really matter for us. What we're really gonna be doing on our next turn, we're probably gonna boss and just get rid of whatever, like one of the um, Zatus, since we can't switch out. Like, it's just not gonna be an option for us at this point. Just so we don't like deck ourselves out too early, we're gonna manually attach here and boss up the Zatu. And, oh, right, it has resistance. I didn't even think of that. Um, that's annoying, but it is what it is. Um, actually. Alright, we're gonna do it this way. Yeah, so we'll kill it with the burn. We'll keep ourselves in. So that way we can potentially get one more attack off if we have to. Prime Catcher's huge. If they don't knock us out, that's actually massive for us because we'll be able to keep those energies in play to knock out Psychic Bird thing. Um, and that'll put us in a pretty good position. Okay, Boss's Orders is awesome there. Because, like, in theory it keeps us stuck, but it actually doesn't in this case. So, what we can do... Alright, let's actually be smart about this first. So, we'll get rid of this. Grab one of each. Let's see what's still in our deck. Super Rod. That'll get us a couple cards back. So now we can Prime Catcher. Bring this into the active. Bring this in. Attach. We can Vitality here. We'll go Electric onto this. Fighting onto this. Then what we can do is Super Rod. We'll put this back. This back. And this back. And then from here... We can go ahead and attack. Uh, all right, let's count the numbers. So, get rid of these. So this is, this should be 140 to 80, right? Yeah. All right, perfect. So this should be the game, because they only have one card available to them in hand, even if it's an energy that gets them three card. Yeah. All right, perfect. So getting the prime catcher off our. Uh, like, getting the Prime Catcher out of our prizes was so important there. Um, definitely thinking of running Canceling Clone in, like, every deck I play now, though. Because I run into Mimikyu, like, every single game. And it's becoming tiresome to kind of just get stuck on it sometimes. The, uh, the Eerie to remove both of our Switch cards definitely put us in a Picaria situation. Uh, fortunately for us, we were able to get bailed out. Um, but, yeah, that's game... I believe three, four. I, I genuinely can't remember. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the game guys. Um, definitely let me know what you think of the deck. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. If you made it this far in the video, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for sticking around to the end. Uh, games were a little underwhelming today. And I feel like, uh, I'm starting to get sick again. So my energy levels in this one, uh, we're not as high as I'd want them to be, or not that I'm the most extremely energetic person in the world anyway. Um, but yeah, I feel like my energy levels are just a little low, so I, I don't think I sound as enthusiastic <laughs> as I normally am. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Definitely let me know what you guys want to see next on the channel. I'm going to start kind of doing a mix of um, like featuring new cards from Temporal Forces, updated old decks... Just kind of a mix of whatever it is that I feel like playing at the time. Uh, since we're kind of through all, like, the more important 
EX cards from the new set. Um, I still have to do a couple, like uh, Walking Wake and um, Walking Wake, Scizor EX, I actually have a deck planned for, and a couple other cards. But yeah, we're, we're kind of winding down on all like the new stuff. So I'm going to start looking at older decks to update or other concepts. So definitely let me know what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Much appreciated. Peace out.